Hello, this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. Well, I guess by now everybody has heard the news that music mogul Sean Puffy Combs has been arrested, charged, and denied bail for crimes that he allegedly committed against women and men. And this is a bad day for black America. This is a sad day and a black eye for black America because this is somebody that we should have been able to look up to as an example of what's possible in black America. Instead, this is turning into a very shameful, a very degenerate, and an embarrassing episode for a black American family. This is a part of the family. This is the side of the family that we don't want to talk about because this is a side that we don't want to see. But this is very important at this critical hour it is important for young blacks or any black person, especially people who want to be in the entertainment field, to take a really good look at this man. And this is all about the choices that he made. This is where you can end up when you don't have any self-control, when you don't understand how the system works, and when you have when you're selfish. You're a bully and you and greed. I know that greed is at the center of this. So yes, greed has to be at the center of this because the charges against him have almost nothing to do with making music. This says music mogul Sean Diddy Combs, who was arrested September 17th, 2024 at a hotel in New York City has been charged with racketeering, sex trafficking, and transportation to engage in prostitution. At a hearing today in Manhattan, Combs pleaded not guilty. He was denied bail and will remain in custody. Now those are the things that he's been charged with, but he's been accused of other things, including being involved in the murder of Tupac. And honestly, the things that he's been charged with seem mild compared to what black people who know him, who have been involved with him, say he's been up to. So he's a very destructive person. You could almost call him diabolical. And we can commend the people who started out trying to work with him and realized he was toxic to the point of being dangerous and disentangled themselves from him. So it looks like he's on his way to an R. Kelly ending. And at this point in time, we can only hope and pray that this phase of black celebrity is coming to an end. I think that all of us are exhausted with all of the nonsense, all of the garbage music, all of the degenerate behavior that's coming out of the black music scene. So hopefully this will be the beginning of the end. These rappers, every time you look around, one of them is being killed. And it, you know, just it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Everybody was not put on this earth to be a star. And if you have star quality, star ability, and star talent, you don't have to do all this crazy stuff. If the Creator put you here to make music, you can make music without becoming one of the devil's children. So that has got to be the takeaway. Everybody wasn't meant to be a star. And if some of these so-called musicians and singers weren't standing on the shoulders of the giants that came before them that were really talented, and really had star quality, you wouldn't even be in the music business in the first place. So this is the lesson. Arrested, charged, denied bail. Now he's going to have to go to court, 
chances are they've got enough evidence on him to put him away for as long as they want to put him away. And all that money he's got, it probably won't help. Bill Cosby couldn't buy his way out. And I don't know if R. Kelly tried, but he certainly was not able to buy his way out. They go for a long time and you'll be thinking, oh, he's got money. They're going to let him go, but they're still black. So chances are he doesn't have enough money to buy himself out of the trouble that he's in. So we can only hope and pray. This is the beginning of the end of black celebrity. We have to stop looking up to these people. Now I'm saying we, I don't. But you know what I mean. You get what I'm saying. They have to, they cannot be the role models in our communities. They just cannot. We have to go back to the old landmark and look at the people in the community that are actually serving the community. These are our role models, not these people out here in the world doing any and everything to make money and trying to show that they have power. So I'm praying that this is the beginning of the end of black celebrity. And when I say that, I mean black people looking up to them. They are no role models and they should not be looked up to. Yet and still, this is our family and we can pray for our family unit. And I'm talking about the black American family. We can pray for our family unit and hope that we can raise up better children who don't even think about doing things like this. Because really, it is shameful. Okay, thank you for listening. Have a good evening.